And right now, the Texas Workforce Commission has granted the Health Sciences Program at Amarillo College $550,000. Officials say this money will help them provide training and education to nurses looking to make more money and get certified. ABC 7's Kayla Convoy has more on this story. How long has that been happening? Kim Crowley says it took a lot of determination, thousands of dollars, and more than seven years before she was able to get her nurse certification. I struggle to be able to find that education, be able to afford it, and be able to move into it. She says her own struggles have influenced her career path. Now she wants to help as many working nurses as possible. I think anybody who desires education and wants to learn and improve should have that opportunity. Crowley says that's why she pushed the Texas Workforce Commission into granting the Health Sciences Program at Amarillo College with more than $550,000. She worked really hard to get that money, and it has become a department-wide thing. We all work on the grant. We all have something different that we bring to the table. Professional Education Coordinator Melissa Burns says a lot of work goes into getting a check this big. She says her department has to look at cutting-edge ways to provide the best training possible. <coughs> like this synthetic dummy that's valued at more than $87,000. He connects up via Wi-Fi to our computer system and then our computer tech person can go in and change his heart rate or his blood pressure or his respirations. Burns says it's hands-on training like this that makes for better nurses and in turn a better community. Health industry and our college are walking arm in arm, hand in hand, trying to ensure that we educate our citizens and get them uh, living wage employment. They always wanted to do this or they've always thought, gosh, it would be neat if I could do that. And yet they, because of life, because of I have to work this many hours, because I have children, because I have other obligations, have never been able to. Crowley says providing this opportunity to hardworking nurses enlivens them to go back to work and provide the best care possible. In Amarillo, Kayla Comboy, ABC 7 News. Happening tomorrow,